All right, today we have these massive 560 watt bifacial solar panels from Sun Gold Power. Let's open it up. It almost comes to the top of my ceiling in my sunroom. So there's two of them packed in this, this one box. Oh, they are massive. All right, so I finally got them unpacked. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. And as you can see, I'm gonna have to get up on this step stool just to get eye to eye with the label. <laughs> we have a peak power of 560 watts. We have a maximum power current at 13.3 amps. We have a maximum power voltage at 42.1 volts. Our short circuit current is 14.09 amps. Our open circuit voltage is 50.09 volts. Our weight is a whopping 70.4 pounds. The dimensions 89.72, 44.65, 1.38 inches. Our maximum system voltage is 1500 volts DC. We have a 25 year limited output guarantee. And I've got one out here propped up on the side of my pool house. It's not at the perfect angle. The sun's a little higher up in the sky now, so it really needs to be tilted uh, down a little bit more. But I want to hook it up and see what it's doing at this angle, and I might be able to adjust it down some. It's just, it's so large, and I, I'm, I'm afraid it's going to slide down. <laughs> okay, so I got this one plugged in to the Blue Eddy AC240. Now, unfortunately, we're not having such great conditions. I mean, we've got lots of water vapor up there. So let's take a look at what we're getting. We're actually getting 466 watts right now. That's kind of better than what I was expecting. Because it's, I mean, it's all, the sun is just not completely visible. Oh, we're actually gone up a little bit. We're almost hitting 500. There it is, 500 watts. Well, we're still going up. Maybe it's going to clear up here. Well, look, now we got 547. So we're showing 560 right there, 561. So we are getting the full output, even though we got less than ideal conditions up there. So that's really great. Yeah, 565 there for a minute. Look, 570. <laughs> nice. I did get it to tilt down a little bit more. And I put a little bit of... Now I put a little screw down here to try to catch it so it wouldn't slide off. <laughs> I don't know how good that'll work, but it hasn't slidden down yet. So, so now I got to figure out a project, something to do with these big old boys. I think I've got an idea. So some of you may already know that I've dismantled my solar tracker that I built a while back, and I did that because I really, I kind of wanted to redo it. Now this right here is kind of the start of redoing it. The original way I was doing the tracker was I had the solar panel setting on top of this 2x4 and then this was resting on this hinge. So it kind of put the center of the weight above the hinge. And it worked okay, but I think that was making it difficult for the linear actuator to kind of move it properly. 
So I've come up with a different mechanism. I've got these half inch bearing pillow blocks right here. And I've got these L brackets and see how this swings low like this. So the idea is when this is all built up and all the racking and everything is on it, ideally the center of the edge of the solar panel will line up here so that it's like perfectly balanced. And I think if I can get that to happen, then the linear actuator doesn't have to do much work at all. It's just kind of influencing the panel to go one way or the other. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks a little bit low right now, obviously, but as you can see, there's going to be, there's actually going to be another piece of unistrut up here. So that'll take up some space. These L brackets may be a little bit long. I can adjust that. That's no big deal, but obviously, like I said, I think I want the center of the edge of the panels to line up with the center of this bearing. And then everything is balanced. But that's to come. I'm still experimenting. But I think it would be really neat if I used these bifacial panels these big old bifacial panels on it because obviously you know the solar tracker is going to be up off the ground and bifacial really really benefits from that all right guys so i think that's gonna be it for the video i'll leave links in the description for these panels as always let me know what you think and i'll catch you on the